How tall is the turtle? In this? It's 30 centimetres. That's wrong. What do you mean it's wrong? It's not 30 centimetres. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. No, it is 30 centimetres. What do you it's, mean? It's not 30 centimetres. So it's not 30, but I'm going to show you how to get the right answer. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to create two linear equations with variables to figure out the height of the turtle. Okay, so let's assign our variables. So I'm going to say that the height of the turtle, if we just look at the turtle here, I'm going to call it x. Let's make it simple. And then we have the height of the rock. We're going to call that y. If we take a look at the first part of our diagram, we can see that we're taking in consideration the full height of the rock, but we're subtracting the height of the turtles. Y, and we're going to subtract the height of the turtle, which is X. So we're going to have Y minus X, and that result gives us that 200 that we have right there. All right, so let's continue. Over here in this diagram, we can see that the two heights are actually added together. So the height of the turtle and the height of the rock will give us 230. So I'm going to just say Y plus X is equal to... 230. If we take a look here, when we try to put these together, we'll see that the minus x and the plus x are going to cancel out. y plus y, which is just going to be 2y. And then over here, we have 200 plus 230, which is going to give us 430. We're going to divide both sides by 2. When we do that, we're going to get y is equal to 215. So we have 215 plus x is equal to 230. Now, all we have to do is solve for x by subtracting 215 on both sides. When we do that, 215 is canceled, and we're going to get x is equal to 15. So in other words, the height of this turtle right here is 15 centimeters. And that's it. That's all you got to do.